Have you heard of Naval Ravikant? He is a famous investor that wrote a popular tweet storm how to get rich without getting lucky. I learned so much from it and in this video I'm going to tell you how we can apply his wisdom to crypto. If you don't know me, I'm Julian and on Eat the Blocks I teach blockchain development. Let me tell you a bit about Naval Ravikant, the person who inspired me to do this video. Naval Ravikant is a famous American entrepreneur and investor. He is famous for creating AngelList, an online community for startups. What I really like about Naval is that he expresses a lot of ideas with very few words, which is the opposite of many people. <laughs> so it's always so interesting to listen to what he has to say, and he always takes you some time to unpack the meaning of what he just said. When I listened to his twist storm, How to Get Rich Without Getting Lucky, I realized that I was already doing a part of what he recommends, which made me feel more confident. But I also learned a lot of new ideas, and I still use them to guide me to make decisions as a crypto developer and entrepreneur. So in this video, we are going to see how we can apply the ideas of Naval Ravikant in the crypto industry. Seek wealth, not money or status. The big difference between wealth and money is that wealth is an asset that can produce more money. If one day you want to become rich, instead of focusing on accumulating a lot of money, you need to wonder what kind of wealth you need to acquire so that they can produce enough interest that you can live off them. So of course, in crypto, one kind of wealth is the crypto itself, Bitcoin, Ethereum, etc. But it can also be ownership into some crypto company, like some share of Coinbase, for example. Make abundance for the world. So that one is super important because there are many people who come in crypto because they just want to become rich quickly and they are in a position where they just want to take. But if you want to become really successful in crypto, you actually have to create something, bring something to the crypto world. And a lot of people are just so focused on making money that they forget about this very simple idea. Making money isn't about luck. So that one is super important because in the mainstream media, we often see this example of people who invested a long time ago in Bitcoin, on Ethereum, they just invested a few thousand dollars and they forgot about their crypto and a few years later, they wake up one morning only to find out that they are multimillionaire. And that's why a lot of people wrongly assume that a lot of people who become rich in crypto were rich because they were really lucky. So these examples I just mentioned are indeed very lucky people, but this is only a tiny minority of rich people in crypto. Most rich people in crypto didn't become rich because they were lucky. They became rich because they worked really hard for many years. So take luck out of the equation and take responsibility for your own success in crypto. You won't get rich renting out your time. By this, Naval means that you need to be an entrepreneur and own some equity. If you are an employee and you are just paid for your time, it's going to be harder to get rich. So what he said is true in most industry, however, in crypto, because there are really high salaries for blockchain developers, even as an employee, you can make a good amount of money. Also, another way that is a little bit more different in crypto is that even as an employee, you often can get some equity through token allocation. But of course, if you are after the best opportunities, you will have to be an entrepreneur. Leave below your means for freedom. So this means don't spend too much, basically. So even if you start to make a lot of money in crypto, but you start to live in a mansion and splurge and spend like crazy, you won't save anything and you won't really build your wealth. So once you make money, what is really difficult is to resist the temptation and live way below your mean. This way you can accumulate wealth faster. The internet has a massively broadened career possibilities. So this statement is also true for crypto. For example, with crypto, it's much easier to work remotely. Decentralization is important for a lot of projects and that's why most blockchain projects are much more open to remote work. So I have a lot of people who ask me, Julian, I live in such and such country. Is it still possible to work for good blockchain companies that are in Europe or in the US? In most cases, that's not a problem at all. All that matters is really your skill, your location is much less important. Also, in the crypto industry, it's natural to use crypto to pay employees, so you won't have any problem if you don't live in the same country as your blockchain company, you can just get paid in crypto. And another way crypto really broaden career possibilities is that you can innovate in the financial industry, but before that, it was almost impossible. Every time you wanted to build some startup in finance, there were some huge barriers to entries. For example, if you want to be a bank in the US, you have to invest something like 20 million dollars and it was almost impossible to get the data and there isn't any API in the banking world. In comparison on the blockchain everything is permissionless 
you can interact with any smart contract in the blockchain. You need to ask for their permission and there are very little regulation. Arm yourself with a specific knowledge. So basically you want to make yourself really in demand. You want to have some unique knowledge where people absolutely have to go through you to get it. So on the blockchain, there are different kind of specific knowledge, but in general, blockchain is a very technical field. And the most obvious kind of specific knowledge there is, is coding skills. It will be very useful to become a blockchain developer. And when you have these skills, when you have this unique knowledge, blockchain companies have no choice but to hire you and pay you well because you are not replaceable. So make yourself non-replaceable, learn blockchain development. Learn to sell, learn to build. Okay, so let's focus first on learn to build. So learn to build in the context of crypto means learn to build a decentralized application. And there's a difference between just coding an app and actually turning it into a product. If you want to turn it into a product, you will need to be more committed long-term. You will need to be more focused on the tiny details. You will need to care more about the UI UX. And if you can show that kind of commitment, blockchain companies will be super interested to hire you and you'll also be in a much better position to build your own product and be an entrepreneur yourself. And for the other thing, learn to sell. This can be useful in both cases. First, if you want to be an employee, for example, a blockchain developer, you need to learn how you can sell yourself with your resume, with your online presence. And if you want to be an entrepreneur and you build blockchain product, you also need to sell your product. And when you know both how to build and how to sell at the same time, you become so valuable. That's when the magic happens and you will have many opportunities. There is no actual skill called business. Often receive emails of a business kind of people who want to build a decentralized application on a blockchain and they completely overestimate what they can bring to the table. They think that by having some business skill, they will have so much leverage in crypto. That's not true at all. They don't realize that many times developers have way more leverage than them. Crypto is technical and to be successful here, you need technical skills. Embrace accountability and get leverage. So that means you need to do things in your own name. And in crypto, I know that some people care a lot about their privacy so much that they don't do anything under their own name, but sometimes they are pseudo anonymous or completely anonymous. And even though I understand the concern for privacy, but I think this is a mistake. Ideally in crypto, you want to do the work in public under your own name so that you are accountable for your work. But on the other hand, you will also be credited for your work. But if you are anonymous, it's going to be more difficult to get the credit. For example, on my channel, sometimes I do some mistake in some tutorials and some people in the comments correct me and I'm forced to recognize that I'm wrong, but that's the price to pay if also I want to get the credit when I'm right. Product and media are new leverage. So the old leverage are labor and capital. They are permission leverage. So if you want to become rich in general, you need to use one form of leverage. According to Naval Ravikant, capital and labor are old form of leverage. They are permission form of leverage. You need to have the permission of someone in order to use them. But when it comes to product and media, you don't need to ask anybody permission. Anybody can start their YouTube channel, their blog, and any blockchain developer can build their own decentralized application. And especially if you don't have connection yet in the industry, you should focus on permissionless form of leverage. You build your image like this and after it might be easier to get access to other form of leverage, labor and capital. Product leverage is egalitarian, which means anybody can have this form of leverage. The only thing you have to do to unlock this form of leverage is to learn blockchain development. But after all you have to do is to use your 10 fingers, your code editor, and you start to code, that's it. So that's why I really like this form of leverage. Pick a business model with leverage. An ideal business model has network effects, low marginal cost, and scale economies. That's the case of many apps on the blockchain, especially DeFi app. For example, in a Uniswap liquidity pool, the more liquidity, the lower the slippage and the more attractive the liquidity pool. Low marginal cost. Yes, it doesn't cost anything to the team of Uniswap to have an additional trader. It's just one more transaction to the network. So the good news is that most applications on the blockchain do share these characteristics. Escape competition through authenticity. And for me, it means developing a set of skills that is unique to you so that nobody can compete with you. So for example, if you wanted to work in the DeFi industry, that would mean being super specialized in a few DeFi protocols. And you can be the only person in the role that knows so much about these specific protocols. And when an entrepreneur needs knowledge in this, he will have no choice but to take you. 
eventually you will get what you deserve so that means you need to be patient and you need to understand that the payoff in crypto like in many other industry are really exponentials so at the beginning your career progression can feel a little bit slow because you are at the beginning of the exponential curve but when things start to accelerate when you stay long enough in the industry you will reach a point where many of your competitors will have left the industry already and you will be one of the few developers who stay for that long on a specific niche and that's when it starts to be really exponential that's something that i've witnessed on my channel eat the blocks at the very beginning it took many years to really take off but when it started to take off it went really fast and I never believed it would be possible one day. So you have to be patient. Kelly Criterion, avoid rinse. And this advice is valid for your personal reputation and for your finances. So for your finances, in the context of crypto, it means not investing more than what you can afford to lose. Crypto is extremely volatile. And if you invest too much or you trade with leverage, it's very easy to get wiped out. And after that, you're out of the game for a long time and it's really game over. So you don't want this. And the other kind of ruin is to ruin your reputation. So really focus on playing long-term games because to become really rich in crypto, you need to be really successful. And to be really successful, you need to leverage your reputation. But if your reputation is ruined, then there is nothing else to do in the crypto industry. Finding time to invest in yourself. In crypto, if you want to be successful, you need to spend a lot of time learning new things. And especially if you want to become a blockchain developer, it's completely normal to regularly update your knowledge to stay up to date. And also when you consider investing in crypto, actually, if you don't have too much money to invest in crypto, it might be a better return on investment to invest on online courses so that you can improve yourself. And after, once you have more money to deploy, then you can deploy it to crypto. But first, the priority is investing in yourself. What is the conclusion of everything we learn? If you want to get rich in crypto, you have to use some leverage. One form of leverage is capital and you can invest your money in crypto. But unless you start with a big capital and you are quite good at investing, you're not going to do miracles. Instead, what I believe is one of the best form of leverage in crypto is coding. When you're a blockchain developer, you can not only get a high paid job in the blockchain industry, but it can also lead you to build your own project and become a crypto entrepreneur. And that's when people become really rich in crypto. And if you want to see a list of the richest blockchain developers, you can check out this video. I will see you there.